Hi, I'm Rich Lund, and I've got an experiment for you. It's a YouTube internet experiment. Do you know what an AMA is? AMA stands for Ask Me Anything, and I thought we'd try one out. This video is going to be a bit of an experiment to see what questions you have, and also what topics you'd like to see covered probably next year. The season isn't at all over, as you can see here, but it is starting to wind down. And some people had requested that maybe at the end of the summer I do another Q&A. A few years back I had a Q&A request video and that went pretty well, but I wanted to try something different. For this internet experiment to properly work though, you're going to need to listen to all the instructions, so please check them out. AMA stands for Ask Me Anything, so that is what I'm encouraging you to do. Your questions could be monarch related, milkweed related, or it could be about this guy. Ask me anything. But really, I'm kind of doing two experiments here, too, because not only am I asking you to ask me anything, but I'd also like some requests for topics for next year's videos. Those definitely would be monarch or milkweed related. So here's how the experiment works, and here's how you take part in it. Down in the comments section below, you can leave a comment that is a question, and it's clearly labeled question. So start out question colon, and then ask away. Or you can leave a comment that is a topic, a recommendation for a topic for next year's videos. You would then type topic colon and then go ahead and suggest your topic for a future video. And certainly you can have more than one comment in the comment section. You could ask three questions and have two different topics that you're suggesting. But I request that you make a separate comment for each one. And here's why. Starting from now, as soon as this video has been posted and published and you're watching it, until almost the end of September, until and all throughout September 29th, People will be leaving comments that are either questions or topics, and you are encouraged to vote on which questions and which topics you want to see covered most. Every time you give a comment a like, that is giving it a vote. And certainly, you could vote for as many as you want to. And just so you know, giving something a dislike thumbs down doesn't take any votes away from it. The way YouTube works, I get to see how many likes have occurred on a comment. I don't ever get to see how many dislikes have occurred. Early morning on Sunday, September 30th, I'm going to be getting up and that's when I'm going to take a tally on which comments have received the most likes. Those are the comments that have been voted for the most. And this is also why it's important to label your comment as a question or a topic. That way it's clear to anybody reading the comments that you're soliciting for votes. You're hoping that your comment gets some thumbs up. Now in doing this, let's say you have a question you'd like to ask, but you also have a topic that you'd like to see a video on next year. Make those separate comments. If you were to combine them, then it's not going to be clear to others which one they're voting for. And maybe they like one of yours, but they don't like the other, and that's why they don't vote. It's to your advantage to have separate comments to those. Also, what if the question you want to ask actually has already been asked? Or what if the topic that you're suggesting has already been recommended? If you make another comment about that, then really what you'd be doing is splitting the vote. So it's actually to your advantage to go through the comments first and take a look and see what's there. If your question has already been asked, it's to your advantage to just give it that thumbs up rather than start a whole new one and split the vote. Same idea goes with the topics. It's perfectly fine if somebody's got three different questions they want to ask and they've got two different topic suggestions. Go ahead and leave them, but make five different comments for that so we, we can easily see which ones we're going to vote for. Getting a feel for how this is going to work? Now on September 30th, that's when I'm taking the tally. That's when I'm going to see which comments have gotten the most votes. And right now, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know if I'm going to get a few questions or if I'm going to get a tremendous amount of questions. I don't know. But what I can do is I can guarantee you that I'm going to take the top five questions as far as how many votes they have gotten. And I'm going to answer them in a video that will be released in October. Also with shout outs to whoever posed the question originally. Now, since I don't know what those questions are yet, I don't know if they're going to require a very lengthy, thorough explanation. I want to give it a good, proper answer, or if it's a quick one to answer. So if there's time remaining in the video without making the video too long, I might also dip into some of the runners-up, too, and answer those questions as well. And I also want to make it clear, I reserve the right to refuse to answer certain questions within reason. If, like, somebody asks, what's my bank account number and routing number, and that gets 157 thumbs up, I'm still not answering that one. But as long as it's a reasonable question, yes, I'll give you the best answer that I can. For the topics, it's a lot of work to sometimes make these videos, so I can't promise the top five, but I can say I will do whatever I can for the top three topics that are recommended for a video to be made upon. I would ask this, please consider what I am easily able to do 
as far as making a video goes, how much work that might be involved for me, and please consider that while you're voting for them too. I had one person suggest and recommend that, hey, it'd be great if you went down to Mexico during the winter season to see them counting the butterflies. I agree, that'd be awesome. Uh, maybe that's somewhere in my future, but uh, that's not happening this winter. Again, keep it within reason, something I can easily do here and make a video about. Keep in mind, though, that these topics should be monarch butterfly or at least milkweed related. I'm going to say it again for emphasis. Milkweed or monarch butterfly related. Now, I never want to make a video that is going to be a waste of your time. If I'm making a video, it's not just to put one out there. It's because I think in some way this information is pertinent to our situation, or maybe it's even something that people have brought up before that they'd like to see a video on. Just wanted to give you guys a formal chance to have your voice heard and see what the rest of the community feels like. Yeah, I'd like to see that topic done too. So it's not that those are going to be the only three topics that we cover next year, but I'll do my best to make a quality video covering what you wanted. And for that reason, what will help me and also help you get votes is if you are more specific in your topic request. So if you're suggesting a topic, if you say something like, I'd like to see you do a video a little bit more on the caterpillar stage. That's kind of vague, and I don't know that that's going to get too many votes. So instead, if you are more specific, like if you look at some of our past videos, what do we do when adults can't fly? Or what are some issues that you can run into? What are some common issues with the chrysalis? Those were pretty specific. That should give you a good example of some of the things that are really, you know, topic worthy in a video. Do your best. See what happens. It's an experiment. And of course, if your topic is one of the top three, then you'll get a shout out as well. So I hope you're okay getting a shout out. Okay, I hope you understood how all that's going to work. And again, the deadline is going to be the evening of September 29th, because when I wake up on Sunday, September 30th, that's when I'm going to take a look and see what got the most votes. And so obviously if you're watching this video now, then the voting polls are open. Go ahead, read through some of the comments, see if there's any there that you'd like to vote for and like. And if your question or your topic has not been asked or suggested yet, then leave your comment below. Label it question if it's a question for consideration for voting. Label it as a topic if it's a topic for consideration for voting. And you can make as many separate comments as you would like for voting consideration. I hope we have fun with this. Obviously also, like, if you're watching this and it's after September 30th, 2018, then, yeah, voting polls are closed. But still, thanks for watching. All right. Good luck. See you next time.